Well, hey everybody. So user s.new basically asked me here with a quick question. How do you adjust the playlist window in Rekordbox DJ in performance mode so you have more room to play around with tracks? Hope that makes sense. I've seen you use the browse window. I'm talking about the main window though on performance mode underneath the decks. So essentially what I would do, I'm gonna flip over to Rekordbox, is first I'd make sure that all of my sub windows are adjusted in the right way. So as you can see, I've got a pretty um, low resolution or otherwise, um, otherwise said it's uh, <laughs> kind of big on the screen. And this is because I'm DJing from my laptop and I want to make sure I can uh, be far away from my laptop and see everything nice and crisp and clean. And uh, so any case, first I just make sure all my sub windows are minimized. So that starting over here with this, uh, we've got sub windows, of course, over here where I can look at uh, information, I can look at auto mix, etc. I want to turn those off. Okay, so see how you can toggle on and off. That's going to compress things over to the side. And then um, I would make sure that my music browser um, and my playlist palette is turned off. So that's this. I'm just toggling it on and off. You can see. So I'm turning that off. And um, also, you can make a little bit of room by squeezing your playlist view over here. And these are crates and other uh, different functions. But you can basically uh, compress that. And finally, um, I have my mixer turned on, and this is good uh, sometimes if you're doing either auto mix or you're playing around and you want to make sure you have a visual of the mixer on the screen, or maybe you're DJing from your laptop and you don't have a mixer. Um, turn that off. That's right up here. There's some other features that you might have on too accidentally, like, for example, uh, the effects panel or the sampler. I'll show you what those look like. I'll just turn them on. Here's the sampler. You can kind of see it just adds another layer. Here's the effects panel up here. Um, the record button, that doesn't do much, but just add this little strip in here. Anyway, turn all those off by toggling them. And uh, then you've essentially maximized what you can do with the window size here uh, to play around. Now, a couple other tips. Um, you could, if you don't like you know, DJing with the horizontal, you can go and do a vertical now watch, I'll just kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but if I've got the playlist section here, and this is the, the top of the playlist section, watch it bounce up when I switch to vertical mode. It bounced up just a bit, maybe a half inch on the screen. So that's going to be even more if you've got your, um, if you've got your resolution set a little higher and your text is a little smaller, and that's going to help you, give you a little more room. I don't like to DJ with my, um, you know, with this, uh, this is almost like the Serato view. I know a lot of folks probably use this, but I don't really like this play. I, I kind of like the horizontal, uh, you, you get a little more runway and see what's coming at you. Um, so I like the horizontal, so it does eat up a little more space. Um, a couple other things I tell you is if you're trying to maximize your space down here, you know, you, you might not need, oh, hey cat, <laughs> you might not need all of the space uh you know for certain fields also turn off fields you can right click here and you could turn off fields that you don't use or don't want and that's going to give you more space to cram in more data here to look at um, otherwise you know the best thing to do really is to press the browse mode button on your controller or even select it from the list boom browse and you can see much more this is much more effective if you're trying to you know zip through a playlist or something like that so in any case hope that tip helped